The final form of measure that we're going to get into before we move on to the next thing on our list of things to learn about in science in the sixth grade at Dexter Middle School is what we call volume measure. <clears throat> now there's two kinds of volume that we measure. There's gas and there's liquid and we're going to stick to liquid right now because gas is measured in what we call cubic meters or it's also measured by what we call pressure. We're going to stay away from that one today. But we are going to do the next practicum which has to do with liquid measure. But first let's just look at some of these things that are in front of us that we have right here. All of these are devices for measuring liquid. We have our graduated cylinders. We have our beakers that are here in various different sizes as you can see. And the other thing that we have, but I don't have too many of them out, is what we call a flask. In this case, this is called a conical flask because it's an inverted cone shape. It looks like an ice cream cone upside down. All of these are used to measure liquids so that we can approximate how much liquid we have to work with for a particular experiment. In the case of the beaker, and this one's a broken one, as you can see right here, somebody dropped it and cracked it. What we can do is we can look at, on the side, what is the maximum amount that our beaker will hold, in this case 200 milliliters. The capacity is actually 250 milliliters, according to our beaker here. And it says that it's plus or minus 5%. That's because it's at a given room temperature. For most science and most of the things that we've been looking at, that room temperature is approximately 70 degrees. Or, as it says right here on this large graduated cylinder, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it says right there that it's 20 degrees C, 60 something degrees Fahrenheit. And it's approximate. Okay, If we want to be perfectly um, perfectly accurate in our measurements, then we would actually do that according to its mass. But we have calculations for that. And we're in the sixth grade, so if we can get it in the ballpark, we are very happy to do that. The first thing that I have for my students is you need to know what size we're working with. In this case, this is a 2,000 milliliter or a 2 liter container. This is a 1,000 milliliter or one liter container. So this, even though it looks larger, only holds half of what this does. And actually, let's prove that to you right now. Because this is 2,000 milliliters. Let me step over here to the sink for a moment. We're going to put in about half. We're going to fill this one up for you. If you can hear it, we're filling it up. And a little bit more. And let's see if we come out about right. Oh, just slightly over. Let's pour a little bit out. Hate to do this off camera, but I have to. Just bear with for a second. And there we go. Okay. We have approximately 1,000 milliliters of liquid in this container. And remember, in a previous video, because it's a concave surface, we read to the bottom of the concave shape of the liquid. Because remember, the liquid molecularly wants to crawl right up out the side here. So let's just see if our measuring instruments are actually accurate. So I'm going to pour all of this in. And come on. Sure enough, even though this looks larger, it still only filled this approximately halfway. So our measuring devices do work the way they are supposed to. And one of the things that we want you to understand in science is that looks can be deceiving. So please make sure and trust that your measuring instruments are exactly what they're supposed to be and that you don't have to adjust them. And we have all different sizes. We have as small as the 10 milliliter 
we have 50 milliliters, we have a 25 milliliter plastic one here, all the way up to our 2 liter and 1000 milliliter versions. And in the beakers the same way. So we've got a variety of different instruments for you to use to measure liquid volume. And when we come back, I'm going to work the third practicum on actually measuring liquid volume.